well. Quick check on how uh, some of the earnings reactions as well are doing. Care ratings reported numbers uh, late last evening. It's been a subdued quarter uh, for care ratings where you've seen profitability take a bit of a knock and uh, uh, revenue growth also has been quite muted at just 5%. Uh, Mr. D.R. Dogra, Managing Director and CEO of Care Ratings, uh, joining us now to take this conversation forward. Mr. Dogra, Q1 and Q2 is traditionally a very soft quarter for rating agencies. So I, I, I want to take the conversation forward to the next half of the year, sir. Uh, do you see the revenue uh, picking up pace and the income growth actually picking up pace from the 5% it's currently at? Yeah, uh, thank you, Anupriya, to have me on your uh, channel. I think we were a rather unchanged environment uh, uh, in the economic environment. We have witnessed improvement both in top line as well as operational profits. And if, you know, uh, uh, speaking of uh, uh, next half year, I think it will depend a lot on how economy behaves. And you know it that we can do as much as what happens in the market. Uh, while we do work on getting more clients uh, who are not on a portfolio, you can see that if you calculate our shares among different CRAs under ET top 500, we have been doing well. Uh, even our business, I think you have to look at us uh, from year-to-date basis because major part of the fees is surveillance fees. And surveillance will depend whether if you do in Q1 or Q2. So looking at that, you know, six months our operational revenues have gone up from 117 crore to around 127 crore, a growth of 8.3%. Uh, and I think if uh, things uh, uh, remain as it is, though we expect some improvement in the economy, right. we should be doing a little better in the S2. Right. Mr. Dogra, uh, in terms of pricing and fee as well, have you been? Has there been any pricing change at all, or given the muted environment, it's, it's been tough to change fee structures as well? No, fee structure remain more or less uh, same for quite long time because market is com competitive. We are uh, seven rating agencies now, mm. uh, so it's not possible to increase prices. I think uh, there is no change in the price line as of now. Okay. Um, Mr. Dogra, uh, rating agencies have come into the into big limelight given the uh, strains and over leverage that most of corporate India is really facing. A lot of defaults have been uh, uh, have been highlighted by rating agencies, rightly so, to shareholders as well, sir. Um, there is talk about stricter norms on uh, rating agencies as well. Uh, we had some commentary coming in from uh, the SEBI chairman as well. Um, is that a bit of a concern coming in? Uh, I think we have been. Uh uh, regulated by security exchange regulator and fortunately uh, our uh, security exchange regulator is one of the uh, best in regulations as far as any uh, rating uh, um, you know segment is concerned in any part of the world uh, we have almost uh, uh, you know the best uh, regulations for crediting in in india and i think uh, due to the recent uh, uh, you know changing cat profile the company and uh, uh, resultant downgrades. Certainly, uh, SEBI is looking at this, and they are, uh, I think, considered uh, considering uh, tightening the regulations further. Uh, Mr. Dogra, before I let you do, go, and I know this is largely a conversation that you know individual uh, stakeholders have with potential buyers, sir. But uh, any word on changing uh, uh, changing shareholding in your company, given the fact that IDB has already stole stake, uh, you have large PSU companies such as SBI, uh, Canada Bank, at all on your shareholding, sir. And uh, the finance ministry has made it amply clear that uh, banks have to go ahead and sell non-core businesses to raise money for themselves. Has there been any uh, further uh, change in or any conversation that you could highlight for us where we could possibly see a change in shareholding? So, Anupriya, you know it that such matters would be discussed between a buyer and a seller and, you know, the management will not have any, uh, you know, view on this. But as you know that, uh, as you rightly told in March this year, uh, IDJ, which used to be our larger shareholder, sold 10% to uh, LIC and LIC has become become the largest institutional shareholder of care. Uh, Canada Bank as well as uh, State Bank has also been selling a part in the, you know some part about though the small quantities in the market. Uh, you don't know, but uh, you know it that uh, the government of India has also uh, been uh, advising banks that you know they should sell their known core assets, and I think I did it in that direction. So uh, we will not have any you know clue on that moment it happens, it has to be announced to the market. You know that. Yeah, that's one thing that you'll definitely be clued into what the real pulse of the economy right now is. You speak to a lot of corporates, sir. 
uh, what's the sense that you're getting? We've seen a lot of defaults coming in from the infrastructure and power space and rating agencies have to call for a default as soon as there is a delay in payment, unlike banks that only call for an NPA 90 days down the line. Do you think the problem of leverage is going to continue out for a while and there is no quick resolution, especially in the infrastructure segment at this stage? I know it's a matter of uh, economy, how economy shapes up and it depends, uh, uh, you know, the cat file will certainly uh, follow the economic upturn again. But see, the matter is not that, uh, you know, grave. If you look at our ratio, which we publish is modified ratio, it, it's still more than one. That means for every one downgrade and retention, there's more than one upgrade and retention. So that, of course, it has little come down from last year. Uh, uh, September to this September, but it's still above one. And if you if you look at our downgrades, most of the downgrades are from the speculative uh, 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 grades, you know, WP, W plus and below. Uh, if I give you a number out of the 24 downgrades uh, to D, which we have done during this half year, April to September, 18 were out of the speculative grades and only six from investment grade and out of six, five were just triple V, which is just their minimum investment grade rating. So I don't think, uh, you know, one or two big downgrades will shake the market, but I don't think uh, position, but uh, yes, there are, there are uh, liquidity concerns in this. And, you know, our service is a little different, you know, different from banks. We don't give calls on solvency. We give calls on uh, liquidity. So one, even if there is a one day, one rupee delay, we'll, we'll have to call it a default. And that's what is factored in our downgrades. Most definitely, Mr. Dogra. Candid conversation there, MD and C of Care Ratings. Thank you so much for taking our time. Um, and second half, probably going to look clogged better, but very dependent on how the market really plays out from here. The outlook for now looking a bit subdued, as you can see, on the markets as well. A quick check on how some of the mid-caps are doing, and I've got... Uh,